How's it going everybody and welcome back to the channel. I'm MR3Dev if you're new here and uh, I'm capturing with a MetaHuman now. A custom MetaHuman. I do have a video on how to customize your MetaHuman link in the description down below. But in this video, we are going to be talking about uh, why I chose the motion capture suit that I'm wearing right now. As you can see, I have a camera following me if I move around. So uh, I'm always in camera if I move around, which is cool. Uh, I'll show you how to do that later. But for now, why did I choose this suit? So there are three consumer grade suits out there that I can name. And one is Rococo, the other one is Exxon's, and the third one is uh, Perception Neura or Noiden Mocap. I, I think it's the name of the company. Now, there are various reasons why I chose the Perception Neura. I'm going to name them in this video. If you happen to have bought one of the other suits, I'm not saying they are no good. They're actually really good. All of them are awesome. All of them are great tools for us now because this used to be something reserved for Hollywood. And if you have uh, tons of thousands of dollars, millions of dollars, whatever, this used to be reserved for uh, high-end studios. Now indie people like myself has access to this. So I'm just gonna talk about the things that uh, suited my needs. So maybe the Rococo or the Accents would suit your needs. So if you bought one of those suits, again, no problem. All right, so let's start with uh, Rococo. The reason why I didn't like Rococo and I didn't use Rococo in this case is because it's a suit. They don't have a strap solution. And for this, I need a strap solution because again, I'm an indie developer. I don't have the money to purchase more than one suit. And what if I want my wife to do motion capture? What if I want a friend to do motion capture? Or even what if I want an actor to do motion capture? Um, I would have to purchase more than one suit and I don't have the money for that. So that's why right out of the gate, I cannot use Rococo. I needed a strap based system. That left me with Exxon's and Noidem or Perception Neuron. So Exxon's, the reason why I didn't go with Exxon's one, it was kind of the price. And when I say kind of is because it was a little bit higher than Perception Neuron, but it wasn't that much higher. What turned me off in the end was the fact that you need to pay a subscription for their software, which is for an indie person like me, it's, it's not good because I need to squeeze every ounce of performance and every ounce of data from the money that I spent on, on this hardware. And that might be your case. Um, some people do like Exxon's because it's highly accurate. It doesn't have any issues with magnetism, which again, I haven't seen any magnetism issues with uh, perception neuron. Maybe there are some settings where uh, you would see that magnetism problem, at least not in my studio. Uh, the place where I'm going to record that has not been present, but again, uh, it whatever suits your needs. But that subscription model kind of killed it for me because if I wanted to stream like I'm doing it right here, I, I think I would have to have gotten the Animate Plus. Uh, please correct me if I'm wrong down in the comments down below. Uh, it's now a little bit cheaper than it used to be. So if you want to get Exxon's, it's probably now a good time to get that. But for me, I got the Perception Neuron because their software is free. And with that said, let's start talking about Perception Neuron. So I went with the Perception Neuron because of the price. I think the whole suit with the gloves cost me about um, 3000 something dollars with shipping. I picked standard shipping and shipping, sorry. And it actually got here pretty fast. It got here within a week, even though it said it was out of stock. It got here super quickly. So if you see it out of stock, just hit buy and you'll be in the next batch. You probably get it. I think there is a sale right now. Don't quote me on that, but I think there's a sale right now. I think I saw a um, little bit of a discount on it. So just go on the Noidem website. And if you happen to buy Perception Neuron, please tell them I, I sent you. Maybe they'll send me the other cool toys that they have because there is Perception Neuron 3 and there is Perception Studio. Perception Studio does have a full hand capture uh, as you can see, I've already talked about that, about the, how you only capture thumb index and then your middle finger, and you can only do this. You cannot do fine motor movement. 
you do uh, you you can do fine motor movement with per, uh, Perception Neuron Studio, and from what I hear, it's a little bit more accurate. I just don't know how much better Perception Studio is, and Perception Studio it's I think seven thousand bucks, so that would make make it double pretty much of what I paid for this suit. So that is one of the reasons why I went with Perception Neuron because they didn't have any subscription, they have a strap based system. And from what I've seen from people like JS Films and Solomon Jawe, they they have tried the Perception Neuron and it has worked well. And like I said, I can fully recommend this suit because even in my tiny environment that I am right now, well, not this environment, I, I mean my actual studio, uh, it's not that big and uh, I can move around no problem. I actually have my computer next to me. I have my camera, I have my monitors, there's a router and there is no real interference everything is working just fine even though i every now and then i see kind of like a yellow sign in the access studio which is the software but everything is is working fine now on to what i'm using for facial capture is the iphone i'm actually using an iphone mini it's awesome it's really good and i'm using a weird contraption to have it wrapped around my neck there should be a picture in when i edit this video there should be a picture somewhere where you can see myself wearing that contraption. I got it from Amazon. It was like 10 bucks. So much cheaper than getting a helmet. I will eventually get a helmet just because um, you cannot use this if you're doing any action. So if I'm doing any fighting, if I'm doing any running, this thing is going to wobble like crazy and it's not going to work in the long run. Now, I got this because for my first uh, short film, I'm not going to be doing many jumping or much actions. I actually have some animations that I bought from the marketplace already lined up to do the action parts and uh, the rest will be just me doing motion capture. Now, any other questions that you have about this, leave it down in the comments below and I, I will answer it as a metahuman, which I think it's the coolest part. Actually, you know what? Probably what we're gonna do is an AMA. I'm going to do my best to do a stream like this. Uh, I have to set it up and see if it works, see if it doesn't kill my performance in the computer because this is very performance heavy. This uh, environment that I got going on with the volumetric fog and everything, it's very performance heavy. And I think I'm actually getting like 30 frames per second or 20 something frames per second right now. So be aware of that if you're going to do live VTubing, maybe bake your lights, maybe don't have as much volumetrics or reflections as I have in this environment. But I just had to do it from here because this environment is so cool and so awesome. And this is one of the pieces that you'll see in my short film. It's actually the spaceship that's behind me is going to be part of the film. And maybe this suit as well, who knows? All right, before I leave, thanks to my patrons. And here is a shout out to my level two patrons. There are two levels in my Patreon. If you want to contribute, it really goes a long way. And if you cannot do the Patreon, then uh, just leaving a like and leaving a comment for the YouTube algorithm goes a long way. Now in the coming tutorials, I'm probably going to go over on how I set this up. So I'm not going to go over how to um, do the custom meta humans. There's already a video on the channel, but I am going to go over how I set up the the part where I can do motion capture with both facial and and the suit in real time because again this is like VTubing everything that you're seeing is happening in real time I don't even have the play button right now I, I'm not even playing the game probably going to show you right here what's going on if you see you can see the entire editor right now I'm I'm not even playing the game it's actually fairly easy to set up uh, so everybody can do it. If you have a motion capture suit and you have um, a way to capture your face, you should be able to do it. One of the reasons why I didn't go with face wear for this one, they don't have a wire solution that I can buy. And by that, I mean their wireless solution. It's a little bit expensive for me. So that's why I went with the iPhone in this case. And as you can see, is it's pretty good. They actually updated the iPhone app and uh, it's doing much better. I'm gonna have a tutorial on that because a lot of people have iPhones and if you're just going to do your face, then uh, you'll be able to do facial motion capture with the MetaHuman and uh, these guys are amazing. 
or motion capture by the way um, as you can see and oh the light brick it's actually moving because it's tied to my head so if I rotate my head you can see the lights moving but yeah even I have this is raw data I have not made any uh, changes or anything to this and it's it's looking pretty good so let's see where this take us if you have any questions as always please let me know down in the comments i'll try my best to answer there's the discord uh follow me on twitter remember to follow me on instagram i'm there as well and um i'll see you in the next video thanks for watching